Welcome to an exciting revelation in the world of artificial intelligence that is about to reshape our interaction with AI models like ChatGPT. Microsoft has introduced an incredible innovation, marking the beginning of a new era in the AI landscape. This groundbreaking initiative is called Project Rumi. Unlike incremental advances we've seen before, Project Rumi is a giant leap forward. It's not just another attempt at improving AI, it's a game changer. Up until now, our interaction with AI language models mostly involved typing in queries and receiving text-based responses. But what if AI could do more than just understand the words we type? What if it could grasp the emotions underlying those words? This is where Project Rumi comes in. The central concept behind this endeavor is multimodal paralinguistic prompting. It might sound complicated, but let's simplify it. Project Rumi enables large language models to not only process text, but also comprehend and respond to our emotions. Imagine having a conversation with an AI that not only understands the words you're saying, but also the emotions you're expressing. Microsoft's research page dives deep into how this works, complete with explanatory content and a video demonstration. Large language models are indeed impressive, but they have limitations. They might struggle to grasp the full context of a conversation and the nuances within it. Their performance relies heavily on the input they receive. However, the data we provide to these models is like a summary of the conversation, missing out on vital paralinguistic cues, intonation, facial expressions, gestures, and everything else that adds meaning to our words. Enter Project Rumi, which aims to bridge this gap by incorporating paralinguistic input into interactions with these models. This integration advances the AI's understanding and response capabilities, elevating the quality of communication. In an age where AI is our co-pilot, providing context is crucial. The system developed under Project Rumi uses separately trained vision and audio models to detect nonverbal cues from audio and visual data. These cues, extracted in real time, are then used to enhance the standard textual prompts provided to the AI model. The power of this multimodal approach is that it augments AI's responses with the depth and subtlety of human communication. The outcome? A whole new level of interaction between humans and AI. The diagram that accompanies this explanation paints a clear picture of how users interact with this advanced system. It breaks down inputs into two categories, physical sensors and non-contact systems. Physical sensors are devices that touch the user to gather real-time physiological data. One of these sensors is the EEG, electroencephalogram, which measures and records brain activity. This provides insights into a user's cognitive processes, alertness, and mental state. By understanding these cues, the system can assess whether a user is focused, relaxed, or experiencing cognitive strain. In addition to EEG sensors that measure brain activity and provide insight into cognitive processes, we have perspiration sensors, also known as Glavanic Skin Response (GSR) sensors. These sensors gauge the skin's electrical conductance, which changes with moisture levels due to sweat production. This can indicate emotional or physiological arousal. By monitoring these cues, we can gather information about the user's emotional state, whether it's stress, excitement, or fear. Another valuable tool is the heart rate monitor. As the name suggests, this device tracks fluctuations in the user's heart rate. Changes in heart rate can signify various emotions or reactions, ranging from relaxation and calmness to anxiety or excitement. Now, let's delve into non-contact systems. These are systems that collect data without physically touching the user. Instead, they rely on visual and auditory cues. The diagram outlines three primary non-contact systems. Camera. This system captures visual information, analyzing facial expressions and micro-expressions. These small facial movements can reveal a wide range of emotions, from happiness and surprise to sadness and anger. By interpreting these expressions, the system can accurately deduce the user's emotional state. Eye tracking. An advanced system that tracks the user's eye movements and gaze direction. This information provides insights into elements like focus, interest, and even the emotional response to what the user is looking at. For example, rapid eye movement might indicate nervousness or excitement, while steady gaze could signal deep connection or thoughtful contemplation. 
Speech Analysis By analyzing the user's voice, this system can detect variations in tone, pitch, and speed. These vocal cues can indicate a range of emotions, such as happiness, frustration, uncertainty, or confidence. When we combine the data from these physical sensors and non-contact systems, we gain a comprehensive understanding of the user's emotional and cognitive state. This holistic view allows the system to tailor its responses and interactions accordingly. It's like the AI is tuning in to how you're feeling and responding in a way that makes sense to you. The fusion of these technologies marks a significant step towards a more intuitive and empathetic interaction between humans and AI. As we continue our exploration, we'll uncover more about the potential impact of Project Rumi on AI applications and how it might reshape various industries. Also, Microsoft has gone the extra mile to demonstrate the effectiveness of this software. They've integrated it into what seems to be a beta version of Bing Chat. In the accompanying video, you can see the software in action. Let's break down some key moments. In the first screenshot, we see a user recording a video or audio message. This recording is then transcribed and input into the AI as text. The AI goes even further by analyzing the user's emotions and displaying them as a pie chart. From the chart, we can tell that the user's emotions included happiness. Interestingly, there's a hint of disgust detected in the audio as well. The AI also describes the user's state as neutral, showcasing its ability to pick up on emotional nuances. Microsoft goes on to explain how they break down the audio to understand what's being said. They split the audio into two main parts, the text part and the features part. To help with this process, they use two special tools called transformers. The first tool they talk about is called Hubert. Hubert is like a clever helper that learns from examples. It's inspired by the way BERT, another smart tool, works. Imagine Hubert as a translator for audio. It takes the raw sound of someone talking and turns it into something similar to written words in a sentence. This is really handy because then the AI can understand it better. Hubert's main job is to be great at understanding spoken words. It does this by looking for important bits in the audio and figuring out which words they are like. It's like Hubert's magic trick to make audio understandable to other computers. Hubert also helps in other important tasks. It's good at recognizing speech, creating new speech, and making things smaller without losing important details. It does all this by looking at different parts of the sound and guessing which group they belong to, just like sorting things into different baskets. Hubert's design is similar to another tool called Wave 2 VC 2.0, and it comes in two sizes, regular and large. The large one has more magic inside with 317 million different parts. So, in simpler words, Microsoft uses Hubert to turn spoken words into something that the AI can understand better, like written words. Hubert is super useful for tasks like understanding speech, creating speech, and making things smaller while keeping the important stuff. It's like a special translator for sound, making it easier for computers to listen and understand. So, here's another helpful tool that Microsoft talks about in the video. And it's called Distilbert. Think of Distilbert like a mini version of another smart tool called BERT. BERT is really good at understanding language, like reading and writing. But sometimes BERT can be a bit too big and needs a lot of computer power. That's where Distilbert comes in. It's like BERT's little sibling that learned a neat trick to be smaller and faster. Distilbert gets its name from a cool technique called knowledge distillation. It's a bit like making a big recipe smaller, but still keeping most of the yummy taste. Microsoft used this technique to shrink BERT by 40%, while still keeping 97% of its smartness. This makes distill BERT super useful when the computer's power is limited. Even though it's smaller, it can still do lots of important things, like understand different types of language, just like BERT. It's like having a smaller backpack that can carry almost as much stuff. In simple words, distill BERT is like a small version of a smart tool called BERT. Microsoft used a cool trick to make it smaller while keeping most of its smarts. This makes Distilbert great for situations when the computer isn't super powerful. Even though it's small, it can do big things like understanding different kinds of language tasks. In a nutshell, Project Rumi is a surprising leap forward. We've grown accustomed to conversing with large language models, but now they might be able to comprehend our emotions and thoughts. 
This implies a deeper level of understanding and should ultimately lead to improved responses. To stay updated on Project Rumi and the exciting advancements in AI, don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're as intrigued as we are, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the latest developments in the ever-evolving world of technology and artificial intelligence.